probably recognize this device. Apple has sold nearly 100 million of these in the past two years, a product that transformed the industry. And today, Apple announced an even smaller tablet. Tech expert Blaine Kylo is here with more on why Apple did it and what the competitors are probably going to have to deal with. So first of all, why this new tablet? Uh, it's a part of the market that Apple doesn't already have. They've got the larger sized tablet, but the new iPad mini is just under eight inches a device that you can actually hold comfortably in one hand. Yeah, and this graphic doesn't show it, but it is smaller and a little bit cheaper. It is. The entry point for the new iPad mini is $329, so it's a good $100 cheaper than what it would be for the bigger size tablet. Though not as cheap as some of the tech experts were hoping for in terms of being competitive. Let's take a look at what the, uh, the new Apple is going to be competing against. Tell us about these. The Nexus 7 is Google's tablet, and it's the most recent version of Google's operating system, Android. And then the Cobork and the Kindle Fire are the two main e-reader devices that do more than just read books. These also are in full color. They have touch screen displays, and they have web browsing and other app capabilities. Um, and you can see that they're all priced at well under the 329 that the iPad mini is priced at as cheap as the 159. Should note though that the Kindle Fire technically is not available in Canada. You can buy it from the States and get it there, but uh, it, it's not technically available in the Amazon Canadian store. You know, when, when the iPad came out, a lot of friends of mine who never even thought about tablets, they had laptops or desktops up until then, made the switch, loved it, it transformed the way they would use devices. Uh, but why are people moving towards some of those competitors that we just saw? Well, price is a good one. $200 is a really easy purchase to make. Um, and, and if all you really want to be doing with the device is reading books on it and maybe do some okay occasionally web browsing or emailing, you don't need anything more than that. But for $130 more than the $200 ARC, for example, um, the iPad mini is giving you double the hard drive space as well as access to 250,000 applications that were built for this device. Uh, once upon a time, Steve Jobs famously said that he would not shrink the iPad, that you know this is what the consumers would get. Maybe motivated by the co competition, he decided to, or the company, I guess now, decided to change the approach. But there's another motivation in terms of at least timing for Apple. There is another competitor just around the corner. Microsoft on Friday will be releasing its first Surface tablet, which is their attempt to get in on the tablet market. So Apple's Tuesday announcement of their new device is uh, strategic. So I, I think all in all you're an Apple fan, but if somebody's looking at a tablet for Christmas, what's your advice in terms of timing? I think if all you're really looking for is an e-reader, there are cheaper models on the market that are better options, but if you want something that can do considerably more, $130 is worth the extra price. Blaine Kylo, thank you very much. You're welcome.